Hi guys, let's look at computer project that is paper 3 in KCC. In my previous video, I took you through how to come up with milestone 2, but there is no big deal if you can start with this video and then head to the next video. The, uh, the URL or the link is just below this video. Therefore, what is expected in KCC? milestone one in milestone one first of all you should know that it is 30 out of 100 marks and the examiner will be in a position uh, or will be interested in two parts system analysis which has 10 marks and system design totaling to 20 marks in system analysis it will be expected to uh, go through or write about problem definition. You can write one paragraph or even one line. Then overview of existing manual system and also the overview of the proposed system. On the other hand, you'll be going through the design tools, input design, table design and output design individually. Therefore, let's go on. The first part that you expected to write is the problem definition. And what is problem definition? This refers to the process of identifying the problem, understanding the problem, and finding out any challenges that may limit the solutions. Okay. Remember to use the current existing system, whether it's manual or uh, computerized. Then we will be uh, expected to write something about feasibility study. When we, talk, when we talk about a feasibility study, it is a study of the what is the economical uh, legal scheduling factors versus the success or the cost of the system and therefore we say feasibility study is an analysis that considers all of a project's relevant factors including economical technical legal scheduling considerations to ascertain the likelihood of completing the project successfully therefore basically you have to talk about visibility study in this session. Then uh, we have an example of a problem definition. Here I will use uh, Feather Youth Group System, that is, uh, uh, that is last year's uh, project. And therefore, for this case, if you are told to come up with a problem definition, you can just write a statement like, there has been improvement in technology at higher rate compared to other previous years. This has drawn an idea in me to solve this problem of running, saving and keeping of records in Feather Youth Group. And therefore, this paragraph next here is the key paragraph for the problem definition. This computerized system, that is Feather Youth Group system, will computerize all transactions made, registering new members, running of money, deposit and saving, hence helping in a much better way of reducing the tedious work of entering the data in the basic manual way. Therefore, basically here, we are trying to uh, identify the problem. The problem is that these guys get it tedious or even consume a lot of time to do member registration, to run the money, and also to save deposits. Therefore, your system will come to solve that. On the other hand, we can also uh, look at the overview of the existing system. In most cases, I would advise you uh, tend to think that the system that you are talking about as existing is manual and therefore you want to computerize it. I computerize it. Uh, for this case, I have taken uh, a sample of a manual banking system and you want now to uh, make it electronic. Therefore, you are coming up, you, are, you want to computerize a manual banking system. And therefore, for that case, uh, they are, they are, okay, therefore, you are likely to uh, going to have a report to the management of your company on why the existing system needs to be changed and also the cost effectiveness that come with it. System change because of various reasons such as getting rid of barque and staff files in your office by computerizing them. This saves you some space and reduces manpower. On the other hand, sometimes the response time is not up to standards. For example, uh, an automatic terror machine ATM were introduced to reduce queuing in bank halls 
this uh, enabled banks to serve more customers in the same period, thus increasing profits and efficiency. That is uh, saving on time. System change to capitalize on increasing profits. This change can reduce the wage bill by replacing people with the machines. Therefore, basically, try to uh, check on the manual system what is need, uh, what are the advantages, what are the advantages of bringing a computerized system. For example, in my case study here, you can see there will be higher uh, productivity, there will be a lot of space saved, and also manpower. Therefore, wages will go down. Then, on the other hand, you can also talk about overview of the proposed system. Uh, here, give the objectives, you can also give the advantages and the disadvantages. Uh, but in most cases, since you want your computerized system to take effect, uh, give the objectives and advantages. See the example below. Therefore, here I have an example of a hotel system. Therefore, my case study of overview of the proposed system, I will use a hotel system. And therefore, the study focuses on the automation of um, paper country in hotel management information system. And therefore, the paper country in is currently processing for business transactions manually that often results to tedious work in preparing management or of information reports. In doing business transaction manually, chances are that accuracy and reliability are in have been sacrifices. And the suggested automated system would help make the work faster and easier with assurance that it can uh, it can accurate output have been okay it will ensure that there is accurate output generated it will help the management monitor all the hotel transactions like reservation of rooms cancellation of rooms reservation checking in checking out and ordering items the said automation system would possess integrity and use friendly feature thus in the process would help minimize or eliminate the current manual system problem. Therefore, guys, here you can see how I have used a good example of a hotel system to explain the overview of the proposed system. You here highlight the problems in the existing manual system and how the new system will come to solve them, just like I have given an example. Then let's uh, go on to uh, let's go on to uh, system design. Here we look at system design tools and in the first place or in the first episode you will be expected to come up with a system flowchart or an ER diagram representing the whole of your system. Therefore, what do we understand by a system flowchart for that case? System flowcharts graphically illustrate the major processes, input and output of the system and are primarily used for the physical modeling of the system. Therefore guys, what you need to do here, if you are given a car rental management system or something like a library system, you need to show uh, by a diagram how the transactions in that uh, point are made. Uh, for instance, here I have used a supermarket uh, system where they are, we have customers, we have products, then we have orders and we also have the payments done through the, the invoices. And for that case, you can be in a position to see there are some arrows into create invoice and there are some arrows out of create invoice. Therefore, this is a good, a simple example of a system that is flowchart explaining what you will do. And basically, if you look at this uh, system of mine, you will have a table called customers a table called products, a table called customer invoice, uh, and order details. And therefore you can see it is a complete system. On the other hand, you can also uh, use entity relationship diagrams. Uh, these ones are also used instead of the flowchart, where we have various, uh, various tools. Uh, like for example, we have the rectangle, that is used for uh, the entity. We have the oval of or the ellipse. It is used for attributes or characteristics. For example, the user has ID and has email. On the other hand, if you look at the shopping cart, it has a total name and the ID. 
on the other hand the item has id it has name it has a description and the price remember guys uh, just below this video there are some links to how to come up with er diagram to substitute system project you can uh, opt to watch them then we can go on to the next part uh, guys we have input design here input designs we can talk about the forms and uh, because also we have the table designs when you talk about the forms you draw the forms using microsoft word therefore let's see example below how that one is accomplished uh, if you look at these guys here this is a form but uh, you will understand it better uh, if we head to this look at this this is a, the real form in microsoft access it has the location telephone number uh, it has the group id and the product's name uh, this form here should be drawn uh, in 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 this uh, part here in this juncture input design you're supposed to draw using microsoft word and therefore you can see this is a representation this is a diagram drawn using microsoft word uh, representing this therefore you can be in a position now to vividly understand therefore first of all you go to where you are you first of all draw the designs then later on you implement them in microsoft access just like i have done i drew this using microsoft word then i have done this using microsoft access then guys we have table designs table designs this is whereby if we go to this one it will make you understand where well. this is a, a photo from microsoft access therefore you can see we usually have the field name we usually have the data type and we usually have the field properties down there and also we have the description remember description is optional and that that is why uh, i haven't considered uh, putting it here guys here we have a table called uh, goods table and also another table called order table and if you are keen enough you realize that we have the field name and data type just like uh, uh, here in microsoft access therefore in system design you don't screenshot i have just a screenshot to make you understand better what, where i have gotten the field name data type and description but basically this is what you should do in microsoft word that is in table design you write the field name of your various tables and their data type uh, uh, respectively you can also consider putting pk for primary key and fk for foreign key mark that guys then we go to output designs this is where uh, you draw you draw your reports output our reports and therefore guys you just draw your empty reports showing their structure how you just come up with your report for example here we have the group name group id group reader group members location and goods basically mark the terms we have the input device uh, that is sorry we have the input design we have the output design and also we have the table design these ones are done in milestone one remember guys we have another video just check the description uh, zone here you will see the link i have done a video on uh, uh, milestone one and the uh, milestone two and therefore once you watch this video you can also uh, uh, skip and go to uh, milestone 2 you can also download copies of various materials and projects from www.ichidon.co.ke also the link uh, below uh, or the link at uh, this link below here is also at the description zone guys remember to subscribe if you haven't uh, done that one for me and also remember to share uh, these links to your friends. Thank you very much.